Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for my last Kidaholics Kits design team layout for this month using this fabulous kit that features the round trip collection from Maggie Holmes. So I'm starting out by cutting um, my paper, well gutting my paper really is what I'm doing. I'm just going to use this purple gingham or violet gingham to make a border around my page. <laughs> my first cut was a little bit off, so I am going to need to sticky tape that back up together, but it's all good. All will manage well. The other three cuts were perfect. I just went with my go-to amount that I usually cut for my borders and forgot that I actually wanted an extra large border. It was not even that big, but an extra large border for me this week. And um, yeah, I forgot to accommodate that when I actually used my blade, but it's all good. I also contemplated for a minute flipping it over and using that beautiful floral side for the border because it's such a pretty one. That's why I had to gut this paper so that I didn't miss out on using that floral. But I think for this layout, there's going to be enough going on that I just want to stick with the purple gingham. So as you can see, I've just matted um, a little uh, white square in between. The white square is about 10 inches squared. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop my photos up on little foam <clears throat> just to make those sort of a bit raised up off the page and the feature here. I have just backed them with some old scrappy paper of things that I wouldn't use, like the colors I wouldn't usually use. And um, they're white on the other side, so that's perfect. I always like to use any bits of paper that I don't particularly love and know I'm not going to use, but a white on the other side, I will often use the white side of, so it's not getting wasted, um, but there's no point in just keeping it sitting in my stash if it's not for me. So that's my theory there. So I've got two photos in this layout and I'm just popping them um, diagonally on each corner of the page. And I am going to make a little grid style layout using those tags that were on the cut apart sheet. Now, if you watched last week's video, you will know that I said, stay tuned because I had a plan for these. And this is the plan. It was not a super complex plan. Um, that's why I knew in my head last week that it was going to work out. Um, but it is using the four gift tag or gift tags, the four tags that I hadn't cut when I was using the other pattern paper last week to um, make this sort of grid style layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've stuck all those down and then I'm going to tie little bows into my string. So I've just tied one little bow at first, close to the end, and I'm going to weave my string in and out, in and out of all the little gift tag holes, always coming in from the front side and going out at the back. When I do attach this, I'm going to put some little twists and turns in it just to make it look like a sort of flowing trail all the way down and around to the last one. And the little bows that I'm tying are going to be glued to the top of the photographs. So it's kind of like that's what's holding the photos on the little bow. Now, I didn't want to leave these gift tags just plain and boring. So for that blue one, I'm actually sticking the exact same piece of ephemera on top, but I'm going to pop it up. So I'm using that really nice piece of vellum that you could have put a title across, but I'm just using that as a background piece just to add a little bit of flair. And I am sticking that same bunch of flowers back on top, but yeah, popping it up on foam. This one I'm sticking down flat because I'm going to put my title on top of the suitcases. It's a really simple title. Um, if you've been following along with my videos, you'll know that I wanted to try and use these stickers up. They are a Rosie Studio um, small puffy sticker and I am very much out of vowels. So I did find it tricky to come up with something to write. In the end, I actually turned the Vs upside down and used those as A's and just got a little black texture and marked the sort of the join across the center in the A's. You can't really tell either. I was quite happy with that. Um, and it just says, look, Addie and Jack. Now I know I'm in the picture too, but I absolutely could not write Jess because um, there were zero E's and zero S's. So I just went with Addie and Jack. And I would have liked to say something like, 
look jack it's addy or something like that but also none of those letters either so i'm just going with look addy and jack because the three words worked really well on top of the suitcases and i really wanted to use just those little fonts so now I'm going ahead and gluing on my string. I'm trying not to use too much glue. That glue will dry clear. I could have also used glue dots, probably would have been a bit more sensible. Um, I don't know if I have any in my stash, but they certainly would have been easier to manage than this glue and then waiting for this glue to dry. But that's what I have done. So I'm just gluing it in a few places around the page um, just to sort of hold it still, putting some little loop-de-loops in it <clears throat> excuse me, putting some little loop-de-loops in it and just sort of um, making it look like it's a fl flighty, flowy piece of string. Um, I did glue it directly onto the photo where the bows were tied. And then, yeah, just finishing it off by making this fun little loop-de-loop -loop here at the end and cutting off a little bit of the excess. Now, I had, I really fiddled with this very last bit for quite a bit and I had it absolutely perfect. And then if you watch closely, I actually bump it um, when I'm bringing over my puffy stickers or, or my puffy foam. So I'm like, oh, I can't believe I just did that after I played with it for so long. So then I have to fix it. So that was annoying, but you know, small things. So there it goes right there. Just bumped it. Oh. So <laughs> I decided this wasn't quite finished. It still just needed something else. So I'm pulling in a couple of the stickers, uh, especially the butterflies, just to add a little bit of pop, uh, putting them on foam around that top right cluster and this bottom left cluster where the bicycle is. I just felt like it needed something else. And then I am going to also pop on some love hearts um around the floral bouquet as well i then decided later i probably would have liked to do maybe a stitched um, border or even distress the edge of the white paper to make a border just to give it again something else a little bit more um oomph edgy texture to it i just feel like it's a little bit flat even a little bit of mixed media in the background or even if the whole white piece of paper was a little bit of like a really pale pink or something might have looked cute. But I am happy with how this looks. I am going to put some strategically placed splatters because I think that'll help um, be a little bit like a, a mixed media there on purpose. So I just put three little clusters of splatters right next to the clusters themselves just to really help... Um, not make that white so stark. I added some black, some gold and some black. So the black is tying in my outfit and um, the title. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this process video. I really loved making it with you and I cannot wait to see what our kits are next month and to get creating. Thank you so much, everyone. And I will see you next month. Bye.